Hey everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to Bookmarks and Breadsticks. Welcome back to Bookmarks and Breadsticks. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kim and I focus on everything in the culinary nonfiction universe. This includes a lot of food writing, food memoirs, and food hic fiction sometimes. Today I'm actually here with a book haul that's not for me. It's actually for my Little Free Library. So if you haven't heard about the Little Free Library program, it's a global program where you as a person, you can become a steward or a stewardess, where you set up your own Little Free Library in your community. The idea of the Little Free Libraries are to help where there are book deserts. You can take a book, keep a book for free, no questions asked, and we do try to donate books when you can. So today I got lucky and in my town there was a used book sale hosted by the uh, like the local museum of all places. So I got a lot of used books in one grocery bag for five dollars which was so cool and I'm proud to say that only one book in that whole grocery bag is for me. But first before I go through that book haul I wanted to first show you this little sign that I got for my library. I got it off of Etsy and it's going to be um, one of those front like lawn flags. I just have to go buy the flag piece. But I have had my library for a little less than a month and I find that some people know what they are but I don't think everyone actually understands what the Little Free Library is and that they can actually take books. I actually had a little boy stop on his bike. He lives a couple doors down and he kept stopping and looking and one day I was like about to leave and I was like, you know, I like called him, I was like, you know, you can, you can look in there and you can take a book if you want it. And he ended up taking the omnibus of Full Metal Alchemist volumes one, two, and three of the manga. So great pick kid. I really can't remember if that sad part with Nina shows up in the first three volumes, but if it does, his childhood is now over. Um, if you know, you know. So I'm going to put up the sign just to help further reinforce to people that these books are here for you. Second, I'm really excited that, and really grateful that my friend Amanda over at the Curly Reader actually sent me some books. She was doing an unhaul a couple of weeks ago and I jumped into the comments and saw a couple books I thought might work really well in the library. So first off, thank you. I totally forgot these were coming. This totally made my day. Um, I have The House on Mango Street. Let's, um, that's probably focusing on my face, so let's try. Oh, there we go. So this is actually a book I've been meaning to read for myself and it's only like about a hundred pages. So I'm going to read this and then I can just put it straight in the library. The second I got was The Air Affair by Jasper Ford. This is more of a mystery thriller kind of story. And the final one is Spare and Found Parts by Sarah Maria Griffin. I remember hearing about this book on booktube and thinking this sounded like a really good read and then never, I didn't want to buy it for myself. So, let me just read the inside cover for you. It's not easy to make friends when you have a heart, when your heart ticks like a clock, like a bomb, when your father is a genius who saved you and many others from a devastating virus with his invention of biomechanical limbs. When everyone expects the same revolutionary ideas from you, you have never connected, not until you find that mannequin's hand on the beach. That hand gives you an idea. If your father can build parts, why can't you build a whole person? A whole person who understands you when no one else does, who could be the key to everything your society has tried to keep hidden and forgotten. All life begins with a spark, but you aren't the only one who knows that, or the only one keeping a secret. Um, so this is this author is from Dublin, Ireland, um, and this is her first novel. I just really liked the cover of it too. So if I want to read it, um, I will. But otherwise, like these are meant for the Little Free Library. But because I now have an abundance of books for the Little Free Library, they're not all going to fit out there. So maybe I'll keep the this one and this one towards the back of the list for the library so I can read them. But every intent, these are going in the library. I promise. I bought them or I was gifted these with the intent of the library. But they are books that interest me. So if I get to them before it's time to put them outside, awesome. I think on average I can fit about 12 books in the Little Free Library before it looks too packed. And everyone handles their own Little Free Library their own way. I personally like the library to look organized. I like to have a perfect line of books and maybe one or two books on top, um, horizontally like this. 
but I don't want my library to look overstuffed because then I think what happens is people pull books out, the books get damaged, books can fall. That's my own personal choice. Okay, so these were Amanda's books. Thank you again, Amanda. If you guys don't know her already, I'll link her down below. She's over at The Curly Reader. Please go give her a like, a subscribe, and a follow. Okay, on to the big book haul. As I mentioned, the local historic museum was actually having a book sale this weekend. These are all used books. And I mean, you could buy paperbacks for 50 cents. You could buy hardcovers for a dollar, two for three in some cases, or you could pay $5 for an entire grocery bag of books. A grocery bag of books for five dollars so I obviously if you're if you know bookmarks and breadsticks I read a lot of nonfiction I read a lot of books about food I did not go to this book sale with the intent of finding books for myself I wanted to take some of the experience I've had watching my fellow friends on booktube look for their recommendations and also I worked at a library for four years all through high school and then actually came back in summers and worked so there are some authors I recognize and also from volunteering at open books in Chicago so my goal going in was to fill this bag with books so that I had a running backlog for the library and I tried to touch different genres I tried to do some mystery some science fiction some romance some young adult and some kids books I didn't find a lot of picture books that were in a good quality but there are a couple that I think will make people really excited I did find one book for myself okay guys one it's food politics this is an older book but it is um, it's how the food industry influences health and nutrition food and nutrition and this is a book that's been around for a long time it's kind of one of the quintessential textbook kind of books that you should own if you want to get into food politics and food sciences I work in food science in the sense that I design products I work in consumer product goods so part of me is always gonna want to keep learning about my craft but honestly you're gonna see how many books are going to the library I think I'm allowed to get one right right that's my five bucks okay I'm gonna go through these other books but I'm not gonna really read the back covers I think you guys will recognize almost all of these books anyway they're not anything I didn't find anything from like a 2021 new release and that's okay I tried to find books that I recognize and that would be classics or authors I think people would generally know and gravitate towards so first up eat pray love look I might have hated it but a whole generation of women grew up on eat pray love please go see my video eat pray rant but it's gonna be a good one for the library I'm sure someone's gonna pick it up next in contemporary fiction potentially romance a hundred summers by Beatrice Williams my first kids book the sea pony um illustrated by krista roop i could have sworn i read this book when i was a kid and i'm gonna have to send a picture to my sister because i just feel like i recognize this book for some reason for a romance book i have candace proctor the bequest a time to die by tom wicker if you guys can see that one the girl with the dragon tattoo I think everyone knows that one some young adult Meg Cabot's boy meets girl two Sarah Dessen books someone like you which I swear this is like the first edition cover because you can't even find this one anymore and Sarah Dessen's keeping the moon another young adult Endless Summer by Jennifer Eccles. I think this is Young Adult. Yeah, Young Adult, Simon Pulse. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. This is one I've seen around the last couple of years. I'd say this is probably the most modern book. Not modern, but like recent purchase, recent publications I was able to find. It's from 2018, so it's still three years old, but it a used book sale, hardcover book. And finally, Joanne Fluke's Cream Puff Murder and Lee Child, Lee Child's Never Go Back, a Jack Reacher novel. I couldn't remember if Jack Reacher books went in chronological order, but I recognized Lee Child. So hopefully I didn't just pick up like volume six or something. I did see a couple of Cassandra Clare's books and I was like, oh, I recognize this title, but they only have volumes five and six. And I was, I'm always a little nervous that for the Little Free Library, 
it might sit there for months because no one's gonna want volume five. They're gonna want volume one. I hope that makes sense. And then finally, this book just brought me so much joy. It's Arthur. Look at how old this book is. Did anyone else grow up with Arthur? Arthur was the shit. I got 17 books for $5. Calculation here. Pretty exciting. And now I feel like I have a good amount of books. Like I don't need to go seeking out more books for the little free library. But if you have books, if you have books that you'd like to get rid of and you want to donate them, I'm happy to pay shipping. I am specifically looking for a middle grade book, middle grade books for both boys and girls. Like I would say introductory chapter books as well. So hit me up in the comments below if you have any recommendations for middle grade boys and girl books, genres, books I can keep a look out for. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I hope you're well. I hope you enjoyed this itty bitty, pretty quick book haul for the Little Free Library. I also hope you're proud that only one book's for me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Uh -huh.